We've seen a lot of Madden games over the years, and in those games, we've seen a lot of features and game modes added and taken out and experimented with. So in this video, I decided to go through all the Maddens I could find and take my favorite game modes and features to create my perfect Madden. So before before we get into this video, I just want to say that I'm not saying that this is the definitive perfect Madden. This is just my perfect Madden. It's my preference, you know. And if you guys have any other features that you want to add that I missed or any game modes that you liked or disliked, feel free to add them in the comments below. Also, for the most part, this is going to be focused on the features and game modes part, not really the gameplay moves. Like, I'm not trying to take the spin move from Madden 05 and then mix it with the strafe from Madden 09 or you know it's not like that it's not that deep so I'm just gonna continue with this video now all right now if I had to pick a Madden soundtrack I would pick Madden 07 now what makes a good soundtrack isn't the popularity of the songs it's the consistency and damn it this is like the most consistent soundtrack in the series if not it's pretty close Every song has such a distinct sound, and there's no one song that hogs the spotlight away from any of the other ones. It's perfect. You go from The Sleeping to Lupe Fiasco to Trey the Truth, and it's just a huge roller coaster, but you enjoy it the entire time. It's so perfect. Also, several of these songs were also featured in Guitar Hero. If you have both games, you can listen to Woman by Wolf Mother, Don't Hold Back by The Sleeping, or Monsters by Matchbook Romance and then pick up your toy guitar controller and play out these songs. And that's pretty damn cool. I could actually talk about this soundtrack for a long ass time, but we're gonna continue to the next thing. All right, y'all, another feature I would bring back is the create a playbook, create a play kind of feature that was in Madden. I think one of the best parts of the sports video games is the customization, the ability to make your own player, make your own roster. And make your own playbook was another great feature that just made the game so much fun. The 2004 version was hilarious because you could basically tell your wide receivers to do literally anything. This led to so many route possibilities, especially routes that you would never really see in an NFL game, but it was just so much fun to just create, destroy, and test out all these different routes on certain defenses and stuff. It was so cool. You could edit plays from current formations, or you could just create your own. This feature gave you a lot of choices. This feature also allows you to go back and modernize old games. For example, when you play as Michael Vick in Madden 04 and use the Atlanta playbook, you have like full house and the splitbacks formation, it, those are just two things that aren't used that much in today's NFL. So what you can do with the creative playbook is you can go back and modernize the playbook so that Michael Vick could be even more dominant. Do you see what I'm getting at here? All right, moving on, I would also add the passing and catching modifier from the most recent Maddens. Forget, forget target passing because I hated that one, but this passing modifier is a cool feature because it allows the player to throw a high or low pass depending on the situation. This increases your ability to exploit wide receiver mismatches, and it also allows you to become more accurate as a passer depending on the route. For example, if your receiver has a height advantage, you could throw a high pass and have your receiver perform an aggressive catch. It's an effective tactic that just makes sense at the end of the day. Okay, for the next one, I might be in the minority, but I actually really like the Madden test. It was a fun new thing in Madden 09. Players would theoretically use this mode to test out their skills so Madden could evaluate the player's Madden IQ. Now, uh, they made this mode hard as shit in Madden 10, but that's a separate complaint I have. On paper, the Madden test was a great way to introduce both new players to the game as well as get people reacclimated with the game in case they haven't played over the last couple of years. It was also cool for players that were good at one or two aspects of the game but terrible at the rest of them, or vice versa, you know? Nailing down a difficulty in a sports video game is pretty hard. Easy might be too easy, and hard might be freaking impossible. But it was good that the Madden test at least tried to tell you what you were good and bad at, and dynamic difficulty is such a cool thing in games. 
Now, I'll be the first to tell you that the Madden test was not perfect. It felt like some of the drills were harder than others, but I do feel like over time, if these things would have been fleshed out, the Madden test would have been a good mainstay in games, especially for introducing new gamers or just gamers that haven't played Madden in the last three years and wanted to get used to the new mechanics. That's why it's on this list. It's not on the list because it was just so good at the time. It's just the concept and the idea of it was good enough to put it on this list. Okay, I would also bring back Create a Superstar mode for Madden 07. I really think this was a fun game mode. You were able to choose your parents, and it never really told you if that actually, like, benefited your player, but it was cool to just, like, shuffle through and just keep picking pairs of parrots to see if that would improve your skills as a running back or defensive lineman or whatever. It was still fun regardless, you know, the grind to get drafted and the grind to just become an absolute NFL star over the years. It was a fun mode that I wish that they brought back. Like, it was really, really good. It also really made you hesitant to start over because you might never get that parent combo that you chose ever again. So you just had to actually think long or hard about whether you wanted to delete this franchise and start a new one. So that was a good, interesting twist. Uh, I would also bring the weapon system back. For a casual gamer, it's kind of hard to just look at all 22 players on the field and figure out who is good at what and who isn't. As someone that never played football in their life, it's hard for me to just like care about what an offensive and defensive lineman is good at. But the Madden weapon system made it easy, you know? It just kind of indicated, hey, this guy's good at this or this guy's good at that. And it was good that they pointed that kind of stuff out so you got the best of the team that you were using, you know? Whether the QB had a rocket arm or the linebacker could absolutely truck you with no hesitation, the weapons icon gave you an idea of who to watch out for on the field. And a lot of weapons had ways to counter them. For example, you would use a shutdown corner for a big play receiver. Like, and that makes sense. And it was extremely helpful for a casual football fan like me to just get to know what players were good at what. And it was kind of a good teaching tool as well. I know other Maddens have different ways to kind of decipher mismatches and like what players are good at, but this one was kind of the easiest one. So I appreciate the simplicity. Next up would be Madden Playmaker. This feature really unlocked the devastating potential of dual threat quarterbacks, and just the potential of every quarterback that was scrambling. Madden Playmaker allows you to alter a route of a receiver in the vicinity. It's kind of like a way to add order to a broken play. If you ever watch Steve Young, Michael Vick, or even Johnny Manziel in college, you can understand the magic of being able to orchestrate and extend a broken play. The Madden Playmaker feature allows you to have that control. And this made dual threat quarterbacks even more fun to use in Madden. And it made it more irritating for Madden defenses. <laughs> but it's still an important and good feature to have. Bring back the two minute drill. The two minute drill was so much fun. You had two minutes to score as many times as possible. And whenever you scored, you got the ball right back. There was no onside kick necessary. And as someone that hates playing defense in football games, this is music to my ears. This game mode was best for just kicking back and practicing big plays. And the good part is that you could just play it over and over and over again. And the mode did have high replay value because it was quick and you were always trying to beat your own high score. So bring this mode back. Now my next request I know is not going to happen ever, but it's just good to get off my chest. Yo, just put NFL Street in Madden. I know EA Sports Big doesn't exist anymore, but this would be the premier time to bring NFL Street back. In a world where the NFL may as well stand for the No Fun League, bringing back a game that had style points, dope music, and swagger would just be epic. Especially if we were able to play against each other online. Hell, even have an ultimate team NFL Street game. This is a layup. Not a layup meaning it's easy to develop, kind of know it's not easy to develop, but this would be a good idea that would sell a lot. Alright, going through Madden 09, there was an interesting feature. You were able to import your fantasy football team into Madden 09. And, and while I never played this mode, I really think this is a good idea. You know, to have a league, you're able to have a draft. And in addition to playing regular fantasy football, you were also able to go head to head on the sticks in Madden with your fantasy football team. I think that's a good idea. 
Uh, I've never played this game mode before because I didn't have Xbox Live for a while, but I like this. In my perfect Madden, I would also keep the Madden Gauntlet. It's one of my favorite parts of Madden these days. Not only does it kind of serve as a tutorial to test some kind of different schemes and stuff, but it also is a fun mini game in terms of different levels. The boss levels are so fun and different that I wish there was a gauntlet mode that just had only boss levels. And a part of me wants Madden to allow us to make our own gauntlet levels to share on the internet, like for Mario Maker. I think that would be cool to just be able to create your own levels. I mean, that's another idea right there. Now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is Madden Moments. Now, Madden Moments takes inspiration from the Pontiac College Classic game modes from the old college basketball and football games, and the ESPN 25th Anniversary mode from ESPN NFL 2K5. In this game mode, you would reenact awesome moments from the previous season and try to recreate the outcome of what happened. It's always a fun time trying to put yourself in the moment and seeing if you could do the same thing within the game. Alright y'all, now I know that Madden isn't going to bring most of these back, but it was fun to take a look back at the many games and features that the series has tried over the years. Each and every year, Madden comes out with a new game. But damn, it would have been so awesome if they would bring back some of the cooler elements that the older games experimented with. There were many other modes and features that I could have brought to the discussion, but for the sake of time, I decided to cut it here. Everyone has different tastes, and I just wanted to share some of my favorite Madden ingredients. Thank you guys, happy gaming, feel free to like and subscribe, and I will be here next time, so I'm going to see you guys next time, of course. Thank you guys for watching, bye.